Hey guys, what's up? This is Reed Edget with Coffee Talk, and today I'm joined with Tony Norwillow, amazing musician, rock star in the making, up and coming musician. Tony, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, so we're, we want to get to know you a little bit. So uh, I grew up with you. Like when down the street. We, yeah, we were like right down the street. So right. um, we grew up in Hope Sound and uh, the hills. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we've known each other how long? Like it's been like, yeah, 20, how old already? Twenty years. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. yeah, we've uh some time now. Yes. <laughs> so we're actually like kind of reconnecting right now because we haven't seen each other in a long time. It has been a minute. Yep. So um, growing up. Uh, we didn't play a lot of music. Like I didn't like personally. I didn't. I, I didn't start until like thirteen, fourteen. Uh, I don't remember when did you start. Around the same time. Yeah. Started playing the drums. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, it was never. Music was never really like a, a hobby. It was just kind of a fun thing we did. Mm-hmm. I remember. Never really even serious about it. Yeah, I remember rocking out in your uh, garage downstairs a couple times. Oh yeah. Made some noise. Yup, there was definitely some noise. <laughs> Your parents loved it, right? Yeah, you know, I, just, I think they always liked it. Yeah. They were stoked about it. Yeah, they never really came down and said, uh, turn it down or anything. No. Nope. Remember your aunt did once. Yeah, we, we never listened to her. <laughs> Auntie. <laughs> so, um, growing up, uh, you mostly played drums. Uh, what other instruments do you play right now? Um, out, you know, live or whatever, uh, play the drums, you know, I sing, play the guitar, a little bit of bass here and there, but that's about it. Yeah. So what type of genre do you usually focus on? Like, uh, um, I'm what I've been trying to call, uh, coastal soul. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think, I think that's what I'm going for. Something along those lines. That's pretty cool. Acoustic rock, coastal soul. Nice. That's like a new type of genre I haven't heard of. Something like that. My buddy, uh, my buddy Tyler's in a band, and they mm-hmm. used to call themselves Coastal Soul. Yeah. Do you normally just go out by yourself, and uh, are you playing with a band right now? What do you? What's happening right now? Most of the stuff I'm doing is you know solo stuff, or I play every Tuesday at the Crafted Keg, Shameless in downtown plug. Stewart, eight to eleven with Jacob Constant Tacos. I love that guy. Actually, I had him on uh, about a couple weeks ago. Talk to Jacob on. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome dude. Jacob's a good guy. We jam together. He's in a band, the the Helmsman. Yep. And um, with the Helmsman, you got uh, Jesse in the Wild, which mm-hmm. is like the lead singer Jesse's yeah side project. There's Boat Train, which is a band that I'm a part of, and then you know me and Jacob play stuff as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know uh, Jacob talked about. He said uh, his genre was like island uh, Caribbean. What was it? Indie. Uh, Island Indie, that's what it calls it. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I like that. That's cool. Tropical Indie, something, mm-hmm. something along those lines. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw him uh, playing on stage uh, with a horn player. Like, I think some trombone players. I was like, that was interesting. Yeah, like, I saw him at Seafood Fest. That's where it was. Spread the dub? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, he plays with a lot of bands. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's really talented. He's good. So, yes, he is. I haven't made it out to any of your shows yet. <laughs> Every time like I have something going on, I'm like, man, I want to connect with you. I'm always playing, so you know, you'll, know. Get, you'll get to see me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no shortage of shows. <laughs> so do you normally play by yourself, or like, how often do you play with a band? Well, you know, I try not to play with, my, with myself if I can help it in front of people. Anywho. <laughs> You know, I like to play with, with other people. That's yeah. kind of my jam. I like, mm-hmm. you know, meeting new musicians and, and vibing with them and just learning new sounds and stuff like that. So I'm always trying to play with, with new people if mm-hmm. I can. Yeah. Wherever I play. Yeah. But uh, by yourself, you know, that's how you make the money. It's all by yourself. So yeah. sometimes I end up do just playing with myself. Yep. That's, uh, needs to be rephrased, but okay. <laughs> Love that. Um, So right now, like, what's the biggest obstacle for you as a musician? Probably just writing and getting stuff recorded and and out there. It's just, um, it's not really my forte as far as any of that goes. You know, I'm more of the uh, book and show businessman Mm -hmm. type 
is even more so than I am a musician. So it's like, you know, connecting yourself with all the people that are going to get your stuff out there and have connections and mm-hmm. know how to do that stuff. Cause I don't have any clue how to do any kind of recording gotcha. any of that business. It's just very foreign to me. So I, um, do you have anything on iTunes right now? Uh, my old band, Keep It Civil, does. Yeah, okay. They um, and we're gonna we got more stuff coming out as well. Okay. So there should be uh, an album. You know, I can't, I can't tell you when. We've been <laughs> trying to put an album out for about ten years now. That's so. okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. One day we'll have an album. Heck yes. Soonish. That's the only reason I brought you on the show. <laughs> Put some pressure on you, you know? Good, good. <laughs> I need it. Yeah. You know, hey, guys, it's coming out next Tuesday, okay? Right? Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, we're going to debut it at the uh, keg. Yes. <laughs> no pressure. Just kidding, guys. No uh, so, um, with recording, is there anything that you would like to learn? Would you like to learn it? Or is it just not interesting to you at all? I mean, I, I love the idea of it, but as far as recording goes, it's just one of those things mm-hmm. I feel like I'm... A little late to the ball on that one. Just mm-hmm. yeah, stick to what I'm good at and find other people that are good at recording as well and try to, you know, one day I'm, I'm sure that's something I'll, I have to get, get at. <laughs> that's know? cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someday I'll have to, but mm-hmm. for now I'm just trying to find the dudes that are already good at it and just get it done, get it out there. That's pretty cool. So with your songs, do you, like how many songs do you, have right now like of your own do you have original songs do you do mostly covers when you play yeah when i'm playing out it's pretty much all covers i'll, mm-hmm. I'll pop an original in there every once in a while but mm-hmm. for the most part we're, we're i'm just playing covers and okay how many songs have you written um songs i've written you know probably somewhere around 30 but wow. songs that are you know ready to record gotcha or okay even considered a song Mm -hmm. i would probably say somewhere around 20 okay now do you take more time like developing your songs are you like more intricate like with each song do you not think that each song is ready um yeah a lot of times i'll get going on a song and it just i never feel really like happy with it Mm -hmm. um and the the songs I keep, the songs, the best songs I feel like I write, I write them all in like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. They're done before I've even, yeah. you know, like I pretty much press record and just <laughs> stuff comes out and I go back and listen to it and write it down and the song is done before I know it. Yeah. You know, so those are the songs I, I really just try to let that kind of stuff mm-hmm. come out naturally. But other than that, mm-hmm. you know, I've been writing the same songs now for 10 years they always change you know i'm always adding a little bit here yeah feeling a different way different years down the road and changing mm-hmm. it up or, or whatever until it gets recorded you know it's it's an open canvas thing. yeah so what do you mostly write about hmm. well when i was younger it was all about debauchery and you know going to the beach and hanging out with your friends and stuff mm-hmm. and um now it's more so um, life questions, I guess, uh, figuring out your, your purpose and your place and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff and nothing, nothing too deep, but mm-hmm. you know, just, right. it sounds pretty deep when you say it like humanity, that. Humanity, humanity like type questions, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I like that. So can you have, do you have any lyrics that just stick when you sing it? Like when you think of the song. Is there a moment in the song that you just like, boom, I want to sing this part? Like one of your favorite songs Um, that you've written. That I've written? Yeah, I mean, there's, I've got a song called Hometown that Mm -hmm. hits pretty close to home. You know, the the chorus is heading on down now to my old hometown. Mm -hmm. Living is easy, it's sunny and breezy. People like singing that, so that's fun to sing out live. But um, other than that, Mm -hmm. I guess lyrics that I thought were pretty good. Um, I got a song, shit, what's the name of the song? <laughs> I can't even tell you the name of the song, but the lyric okay. is, um, hmm. blinking. That's okay. 
Yeah, we're going to have to skip that one for now. No, it's okay. <laughs> we'll come back. If you remember, it's okay. All right. So, did you always think you were going to be a musician growing up? No. Um, I always wanted to work on cars or build stuff with my hands mm-hmm. when I was a kid. So, I always kind of did stuff towards that. And I was pretty sporty as well. So, music was never really a childhood it was more in my teenage years I started listening to music and getting kind of into it and then, you know, mm-hmm. looking in the mirror. Yeah. Rocking out to the, the biggest crowd in the world. And Heck yeah. That didn't really happen until <laughs> high school. Mm-hmm. You know, I was, I was pretty much a, an established man at that point. I think I was like 17 years old and I was like, this is something I could, I could do. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I didn't really decide until I was like 20, 22 probably 21, 22, and I was like, yeah, this is it. I'm settling into this one. I like it. Mm-hmm. And, um, but with that, you know, it, it took a long time to realize that that's, that's the job I wanted to do and that's what I was going to do because I, I thought about making it more of a hobby mm-hmm. not to take away from the uh, the music part of it. Yeah. Which, you know, kind of does a little mm-hmm. bit. When you're playing all the time, I feel like that's part of why I haven't written a lot, song in a long time. It's just been non-stop playing mm-hmm. non-stop working so it's like no real time for even inspiration to strike so mm-hmm. that's all stuff you got to work through <laughs> with any yeah. job you know? I, yep that's art that's art you know that's life. i love it art i want that picture thrown up there art ever, you've ever seen iron giant right here right there Pfft. yep my wife is the lovely editor she will <laughs> love this <laughs> i always throw a challenge at her every once in a while like Owen last week, he's like, yeah, put my band here, then there, then there, there, there. We're like, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love, my wife is probably going to kill me for these editings. I don't care. I love you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so right now, who do you look up to as a musician or a uh, inspiring role model? Hmm. Do you have anyone in your life? You don't have to actually know this person. That's okay. So. Well, you know, there's always um, Bob Marley. Yep. That dude obviously had had his head very straight on his shoulders, regardless of all his flaws and all that. He just had a a beautiful outlook on life. But, um, you know, Bob Bob Marley, Jack Johnson, I feel like he's in the same boat. Dude just chills and surfs like that sounds, that Mm -hmm. sounds dope. Yep. Hanging out. Being a family man and just surfing and writing on the beach, I could I could do that. I could I could yeah. deal with that. Yeah. So I guess as far as a role model goes, that's that probably yeah, something, <laughs> something along those lines yeah. right there. <laughs> just have a beach house, yeah. just write all the time. Just, that sounds like life. Hanging sure. out in the hammock. I don't really need to write. Just yeah. Chill at the beach. That sounds good. I like it. <laughs> so. Now, jumping over to some different type of questions, just your own personality. So, getting to know you more, what would be your favorite 90s jam? Mm, that's it, tough because yeah. all of the 90s yeah. jams are my favorite 90s. <laughs> my favorite 90s jam. We grew up in the 90s, so it's kind of hard to pick. I don't even think I have one. Yeah, oh, that's... crap. Actually, yes, I do. But I'm not done telling it. <laughs> that's a tough one. 90s jam. I mean, okay, you twist my arm. It's bye 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 and sync. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. I was thinking of actually, boys, just because they're oh my gosh, so dope. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. But um, it would probably be like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh my like gosh. That, you know? Yes. Uh, a theme song. Maybe. Yeah, that's maybe awful. that '70s show theme song, <laughs> something like that. Hang it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just like that, with less phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So, switching over, I got a couple uh, beautiful pictures from your Instagram. I did a little bit of a background check on you, make sure that you're safe to bring in my home and everything. You know, okay, so you know, don't like crazy people walking around. Anyways, so um, I saw this actually really cool picture of you. Uh, you're standing next to a tree. Just it's looks like fall. Could you like explain that a little bit more? 
Yeah, that was up in uh, ooh, South Carolina. I was up there. You know, my cousin actually was, she's in high school, and she mm-hmm. had a photography project of some sort that she mm-hmm. needed to do. And we yeah. walked around the corner, and the, it's beautiful up there right on it's, the corner. It's, it's gorgeous. So Yeah, that popped out. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Like, yo, I want one of those pictures. And the weather was <laughs> perfect. Everything yeah. was just real, real nice. And it worked out really well. It was kind of yeah. cool that she needed to someone to take pictures i was like i need pictures yo i need some photographer friends that are just like yo i need uh some uh profile like, pics and there, what is pictures? it called portfolio pics yeah i need, I need to, to build my, my portfolio I, oh, please okay look at this beard come on ladies i mean uh i mean dang it <laughs> <laughs> so i also found this other picture um you may be uh lost of uh words or a tooth in this Yes. You like messed up your front tooth. It's gone. Where'd it go? What yeah. happened? When I was uh, about 18, I think it was actually on my 18th birthday. I, uh, oh, happy birthday. I was surfing <laughs> and I busted my teeth right out of my head. Oh my gosh. And um, every couple of years it falls out. Oh my. It's a fake tooth. It's, it's, oh yeah. It's still fake. Yeah. Oh wow. It's very fake. But uh, you know, I get a little rough with it and every three to four years or so, the thing just falls out. Okay. Yeah, mid show that thing fell fell right out. Mm-hmm. And I'm toothless for a while. All right, in this last picture, I see there's some blood on your acoustic guitar. Yep. And just the captions like "rocking too hard" or something. I can't remember what it was. Something like but, that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was right when I moved up to Tallahassee. Um, I just started kind of playing the guitar, and I, mm-hmm. you know, was kind of obsessed with playing the guitar. Yeah. And one of the main times that I get inspiration and want to, or you know, or am up, is real late at night, and it was cold up in Tallahassee and dry. Oh my gosh! So I would go out on the back porch and play, in the in the, the frigid winters of the Tallahassee North, and um, it would dry your fingers out. And I never used the pick either. That was the thing. Mm-hmm. And um, just over time, I guess I would wear down through my skin. And, I wouldn't even Dang. feel it because it was so cold and I'd just bleed all over that guitar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it happened a lot, actually. There. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Especially the drums. You yeah. Nick, you nick your finger in the cold on a oh my a gosh. drum set. I smacked my fingers a couple times on a mm-hmm. set. You're bleeding. Oh my gosh. Blood everywhere before you even know. It so, happened. all right. So, what do you work towards in your free time? Hmm. A divine oneness. Explain that, Nirvana, please. If I may. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, in my free time, I'm working towards learning more songs. Most of the time, I'm working towards you know trying to be a, a real human, like paying my bills and things like that, and learning how to do all that stuff. Being responsible, that's good. Yeah, I'm still not very good at it. You know, my mom does most of it for me. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. But, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm working on, saving money. That's, mm-hmm. that's really hard to do. Uh, and the, the main thing I work on when I'm, when I'm not working or um, have free time is just relaxing. That doesn't happen a lot. Mm-hmm. So relaxing and, and having fun. Just downtime, doing things I like doing, surfing canoeing fishing whatever it is just just doing Mm -hmm. doing some stuff that that's good sets my soul on fire very nice yes yeah i remember uh actually going canoeing with you guys you and your family actually you and your brothers and dad uh back in uh the boy scout days you know the good old times yeah we still get out there and do it every once in a while Mm -hmm. we uh, had a trip this uh past recent I couldn't tell you what month it was, but, you know, a group of friends, we all went mm-hmm. canoeing. That's what free time's all about for me, I feel like. It's just... You were an Eagle Scout, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. Proud of that? Yeah, I am. I yeah, sure am. That's good. I think I learned more in scouting than I did school, for sure. Mm-hmm. More stuff I use daily, anyways. Yeah, I bet. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So, with that... Where would you like to see yourself in five years? Five years. Hmm. Well, in five years, I think I would like to either see myself settle down, 
thinking about a family and stuff like that, mm-hmm. or on the road, just killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Yeah. Full time music. Yeah. You know, touring the world would be cool, but you know, just touring around Florida would, mm-hmm. would be fine in the Southeast. I could deal with that. Just real busy and, mm-hmm. um, you know, just making progression as, a, um, as an artist. That's what I would like to see in the next five years. Nice. So now coming from that, uh, actually, I'm going to sidestep. A lot of people, they see good looking men on YouTube. They're like, oh my goodness, is he single? <laughs> Tony, are you single? I sure am. You sure yeah, are? I will be for the rest of my life. No. <laughs> That's sad. Let's That's jump sad. back into our lane over here then. <laughs> Ladies, he's it's single. Actually, it's actually a happy thing. <laughs> happier because of it, I feel like. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. You got to meet the right woman. So, <clears throat> now jumping back to the uh, how you see yourself in the future. You said five years. How about ten I know that's a lot harder because you got to expand upon that. Yeah. Um, so, exactly. I guess uh, for, so there's the two options, you know, obviously the the family route, 10 years, just being the killerest dad there ever was. Mm-hmm. That's, that's perfectly good enough on that side. And then mm-hmm. the other side would be, um, I feel like, in 10 years, you know, five years, well, let's just say I'm, I'm killing it, I'm doing really good, whatever, blah, blah, blah platinum records who knows what i just hope that in um in 10 years i i can progress musically and not just keep putting out the same product but yeah you know put put stuff out there that people still enjoy and can mm-hmm. say wow i've seen him progress as an artist through the years that's yeah it's really cool to see that's what i'd like to do yeah i think every artist wants that for themselves that's awesome yeah just a change of sound and um definitely not plateauing right yeah, and then change of mindset too. What I'm singing mm-hmm. about, I'm sure, is going to change. Mm-hmm. It already has major, major change in what I sing about, and what I write about. So, yeah, yeah, ten, ten years definitely want to see just progression and improvement, whatever mm-hmm. angle or way it could be. Mm-hmm. All right, so this last part, we're just doing a quick fire round. I'm gonna ask you a two choice. Question. All right. <laughs> uh, you either uh, you pick one or the other. Can't answer none. Nothing like that. So, pretty simple stuff. So, first one: acoustic drums or electric? Acoustic. Disney or Nickelodeon? Disney. Biscuits or crescent rolls? <sighs> crescent rolls. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Kids Bop or Walmart Choir? I don't know what that means, but I'm going to go with Walmart Choir because little boys. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Not, no, not actually. No, not the Walmart Yodler. Oh, oh my gosh. No, I totally forgot that. Him. No, he's not. So Walmart actually has a choir. They put out an album. Every year? Like kids? I album? don't know. That's what you meant by that? I saw it at Walmart one day. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's from the Walmart employees. I don't think oh. Kids pop wasn't even good when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, you should hear it now. I'm gonna go with, it's I'm worse. Gonna, I'm gonna go with Walmart choir boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or children's. Nope, it's not even kids. It's adults and oh, all sorts of people. Better. Yep. Much better. So it might be good. I actually didn't listen to it. I might I'm have to scared. go back and switch uh, over I'm to Biscuits. S- I'm scared. What? Switch, I might have to switch back to Biscuits from Crescent Rolls. You can't do that now. Oh, I'm sorry. Biscuits nope. are so much more, more diverse. Yeah, okay. Thank you. They're, they hold it better together as a sandwich. You're ruining the show. I'm so sorry. Gravy. You need to get off. Okay. So I'm just kidding. Thank you, Tony, for this awesome time to spend with you. Thanks All for right. Me. Everyone, uh, is, actually, before we go, Tony, is there anything you want to plug before oh. we leave today? Oh, the personal plug. Boom. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Every Tuesday, Crafted Keg, Tony and Tegos, don't forget us. <laughs> That's all I really got. That's awesome. Get him so. in the cake. All right, guys. Uh, also, you can follow Tony on Instagram. Here's his link right here down below. So if you want to check him out, go ahead. He's got all sorts of interesting photos and whatnots. So 
Uh, thank you for joining us today. We will see you next time. Have a nice day. Deuces. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you did not like this video, subscribe anyways, because maybe I'll put out some content that you might enjoy. Now, if you'd like to follow me on social medias, I am on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Musical.ly, all sorts of stuff. The links are in the description down below, so I will see you next time. Hasta la vista, baby.